And the case of an Indian spy, Gopal Das, who returned home last week after spending 27 years in prison in Pakistan, has sparked off renewed interest in what actually goes on in this shadowy world. Vikram Chaudhary takes a look at some ordinary lives which turn the other way. Once a master spy, this is what Karamat Rahi now does for a living. Six years ago, he returned to his village in Gurdaspur, Punjab, after spending 18 years in Pakistani jails. After his return, he sought compensation from the Indian intelligence agency he worked for, but was refused. He moved court, but his plea was turned down. He now plans to move a higher court. Fifty kilometers away, village Daduwal, that once had a dozen spies working for Indian agencies. Sunil was lured into spying by a fellow villager, but three years later, he was caught in Pakistan and jailed. Seven years later, he returned home physically weak and depressed, now fully dependent on his wife, who works as a domestic help. Grefan tried his hand at spying, but soon decided to quit. But his mentors just won't let him. He alleges Indian agencies implicated him in three false cases, and now he works as a labourer and earns 3,000 rupees a month. Along the border belt in Punjab, almost every third village has a spy who once worked for Indian agencies. And now, these spies, they say, the way they have been ignored they feel they are the children of lesser God. With Vikram Chaudhary, Madhu Sudan for NDTV. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.